and everybody looking forward to this second session because the first session was tremendous snooker. Great match play, breaks. It had just about everything. Would this be class, Stephen, you think, like in a golf tournament, moving day, <laughs> a moving session? Yeah, I think you're right. I think in a three-session match. The second session is the important one. You definitely want to have a lead going into the final session. Yeah, just looking at those pot successes, 91, 92%, that's good. That's fair for the long pot success. Safety success, that surprised me, that figure of Ali Carter. I thought his safety play yesterday was excellent. I mean, that's a good uh, figure for Mark Selby, 85%. You'd like to get to 90% if you could. And the high break, well, Ali made 110. He also made 102 in the first frame. Where's that cue ball going? Hmm. Very close. But Mark Selby was just... Sometimes you could say a little bit clever in certain situations where he, he uses all his ring craft, so to speak. Very tough competitor to play, Mark Selby. He can play all kinds of types of game and be attacking, which he was at the start of this match. And then he can go into a shell and just make chances few and far between. So an interesting matchup and a very interesting eight frames we got this morning. Well, you generally take those pots on, thinking the only red you could leave is the one you're playing. They are risky. He's got away with it. And maybe a cut, a red that's to the left of the black may cut back to the left corner. Be able to take the cue ball in and out of bulk. There was a half a chance of that red, but got it much too thick. No harm done. Mm. Just caught the green, and that just slowed the cue ball down enough. But the only red that is possible is the one closest to the right corner. It's a very thin cut, so probably won't play the pot. Now I'm just playing safe, swinging the cue ball round. Two, three cushions. Played it well. bunch of reds next to the pink. He can come off one cushion past the brown and lay onto those, but that's dangerous if he slips off them. He could leave a red to the left corner. The brown's blocking the line to the red that's closest to the black cushion. A line onto that dead weight, I think, so 
Let's put a bottle here. May have to play the two cushion escape and clip a red to the left hand side of the table. Or the red to the right, the pink of two cushions and bring the cue ball back up to bulk. Well, that's... <coughs> that's possibly one way. You're always a bit wary of the blue in the middle of the table. So what you do, you hit a bit lower, play with plenty of left-hand side. But he doesn't like it. So I think he's coming off here just to try and nestle to that red, just to the right of the pink, but... Got to judge this right. Now I misjudged it. Well, if he hits the red... <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't know whether there's a red available into this corner pocket. Be a plant, John. Yeah, worst way there's a plant. There's a bit of a gap between the two balls, but... You can see Mark eyeing it up. Just got to make certain you hit the first red correctly. Once you've picked out the spot on that first red, that's where you hit. One. So first opportunity in this important first frame of the session goes to Mark Selby, and it's not a bad chance. Obviously, the black only pots to one corner pocket, but. There's enough open reds there to score a few points here. He'd love to get on that red just below the black to the Fox. right. I think it pops to the left corner. That would obviously clear the black. Five. I think John Mark Selby, although he has underhit that commentator's curse, is one of the best players in the world at screwing the cue ball. I think he just hits it so well, that shot. Yeah, he's, 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 he's quite unusual in many ways. And we always talk about the movement of the head and everything else, but uh, yes, he certainly delivers the cue. There's no deacceleration when he goes through. But as you can see, he's just come up wrong side of the blue. He'd love to have had an angle on the blue and come down for that red that Stephen was mentioning to yeah, get yeah. the black into play. He had a nice angle on the brown to come round the angles, but I think sometimes first frame of the morning, you tend to take the more conservative approach, play the easier shots, just to get your cue arm going, get into the frame. Yeah, that's fair enough, but now he's got quite a bit to do with the cue ball here. There's not much of a gap around the back of the black. Oh, I played it beautifully. Eleven. The time that's so well. You say, look at how much room he's got to get round the back there. Excellent positional shot. And this time he'll be trying to land straight on the black. If that top red of the two. Beside the black does put to the left corner, be look to leave himself straight on the black here or a little bit high so he can play for the red in the same pocket. 19. And the red definitely goes into the same pocket as the black. There you see the red on the right hand side of the black. And now in potting this, the black will be. Available into both corner pockets. 26. Good chance. <laughs> 27. That was another shot that was played well. It looked easy, but you had to avoid the red that's closest to the black cushion, but he got enough action on the cue ball. You see the, the action just take effect just in time to miss that red on the cushion. Time in the ball. Excellent already. As you would expect. Both these players would have been in the practice table this morning for a good half hour, 40 minutes. 34. 
35. Well, just... If you look again, that red did not go in the middle of the pocket. If it had it done, it'd have had another couple of inches of pace in the cue ball. But it went off the wide jaw, and that's why he's finished short on the blue. That's the fractions, and there you see, that's the result. If the red goes in the middle of the pocket, it'd have got a couple of inches more pace on the cue ball. It's amazing how many times that happens. You just think it's a formality just to put the red in the corner and get in the blue. All of a sudden, all of a now you're faced with a... Well, a tricky red now. Yeah, from being in perfect position and looking as though he had a frame-winning opportunity. Needs a good recovery here. Not only pot the red, but get good position on the colour. Forty-one. Mm. Not ideal. When you lose position in a break, it so often takes you two, three, sometimes four shots to get back into perfect position. Let me stunning this off. Two cushions for the red to the right corner. Forty-three. Forty-four. Well, so far this morning, this is very impressive stuff. It really is. Cue that lovely. Look at the. The red right in the heart of the pocket. <coughs> he may have to play for the red along the top cushion here. Doesn't want to be straight. Needs a slight angle. Well, looking at his body 51. language, he seems happy enough. Fifty-two. Well, I don't know if any red pots, so if it doesn't, it'd be a cannon into that gap. Would be perfect. Well, he didn't get the gap. He may still have a red to the right centre, but if that cuba went through the gap of the bunch, he would have been perfect. Fifty-nine. And there you see it, fifty-nine ahead, seventy-five remaining. So that really equates to red colour, red still needed. Just didn't get into the cue ball enough. He's just looking for a red to continue, but although he's got this red to the right middle, is he guaranteed position? Yeah, you would think if he plays a screw shot, the cue ball's just coming right towards the black and he won't be in anything. Following your cue ball through, you're going to have to play it with a lot of pace to get up for the blue. Looks like he's going to have to play a thin cut to the left centre, round the back of the black. <laughs> play the black to the left corner. Over a minute thinking time. And he's one of those type of players, Mark. I mean, he can play a quick, fluent game, but if a shot needs a bit of thought, he doesn't mind taking his time, studying what's the right option. I think he's decided on the safety. <laughs> Although Stephen's choice of a thin cut in the left middle, I don't see any harm in that. Well, in the end, he's decided to play that. Mark Not with any great conviction. 59. And he'll be disappointed <laughs> that was a frame-winning opportunity. Yeah, the, the careless shot was not leaving himself a nice angle on the black to go into the bunch. 
couldn't generate the pace to open them up. So it's a good lead, though. But with the reds in the open, well, there's one red going to left cushion. You think one opportunity could still cost them. Yeah, and if that cue ball had finished tight on the top cushion, he'd have had a problem here, Mark. But because he can strike down on the cue ball, there's a chance of getting it back to the cushion. Although, having said that, that red that's t well, almost tight to the left-hand side cushion, that being there, he won't want to move that red. That's a little bit of an insurance policy if Ali Carter got a chance. So he's having to play a different safety shot. He's got to be careful here. It was never guaranteed to be a good safety. Not left anything easy, but possibly a tempter for Ali because I don't see a good safety. And if there's no good safety, you might as well Go out having a go to pot. I'm well, playing this red, he is playing safe. Trying to get the cue ball on this top cushion behind the black, but watch where the red goes. <coughs> nah. He needed the top cushion behind the black. That's no good. So he's left the red to the left middle. Six. Seven. So that's the first frame over. Ali hasn't really got anything to... ...reproach himself for, because he's never really... Twelve. ...had a chance. Thirteen. Mark Selby, as he did, he lost the first frame in this match in the first session, Mark Selby, and then went on to win the next five. And it was only Ali winning the last two that... Eighteen. ...give Ali a bit of respectability in the scoreline, but in the mid part of that first session, it was all about 19. Mark Selby keeping Ali off the table and taking what was on. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. And... So far this morning, Stephen looks to be queuing really well, doesn't he? Getting pace without having to hit the ball too hard. Yeah, he's getting tremendous ac action from the cue ball. 32. Well, close, but uh, not in, but <laughs> the frame well and truly over before that, Ali Carter concedes. Mark Selby now leads by three again, 6-3.